February 7th, our Holy Father, St. Parthenius, Bishop of Lampsacus. St. Parthenius was the son of a deacon from the town of Melitopolis. As a child, he remembered well the words of the gospel, and he endeavored to fulfill them. He settled near a lake where he fished. Then he sold the fish and distributed the money to the poor. By God's providence, he was chosen Bishop of Lampsacus. He cleansed the town of paganism, closed the idolatrous temples, built many churches, and strengthened believers in the faith. Through prayer he healed every manner of illness and was particularly powerful over evil spirits. On one occasion when he wanted to cast out an evil spirit from an insane man, the evil spirit begged him not to do so. Parthenius said to him, I will give you another man whom you can enter, and in him you can dwell. The evil spirit asked him, Who is this man? I am that man, replied the saint. Enter and dwell in me. Upon hearing this, the evil spirit fled as though burnt by fire, crying out, How can I enter into the house of God? St. Parthenius lived a long time, and through his work manifested an abundant love for God and man. He entered into eternal rest of Christ in the fourth century. Blessed is the voice known for the three ages of riches. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. The truth of things has revealed thee to thy flock as a rule of faith, an icon of meekness and a teacher of temperance. For this cause thou hast achieved the heights by humility, riches by poverty. O Father and Hierarch Parthenius, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. In the deep abyss in times of old, all of Pharaoh's mighty host was overwhelmed by the power supreme to arms. When the word took on our flesh, he did utterly crush and blot out pernicious sin. For the Lord who is most glorified has gloriously been glorified. O Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. United to the Divine Light through the virtues of most sacred Father Parthenius, thou became the second light. Wherefore, by thine entreaties, deliver from the darkness of sin them that keep thy light, bringing an all festive memorial. Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. Thou art risen as a bright star in the firmament of God's church, O most sacred Parthenius. By grace thou drives off the moonless night of sufferings with shining rays of healings, and thou lights the way for them that come to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the light of thy venerable supplications thou didst dispel the evil darkness of diseases, O Parthenius, 
Wherefore we implore thee, heal the anguish of our souls, and drive away all the infirmities of our bodies. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Immaculate Virgin, since thou hast conceived the good God, make good my abject heart, which has waxed evil in many passions, and give me strength to do the will of our Deliverer, who will have all men be saved. Upon the rock of faith hast thou not confirmed me, thou hast enlarged my mouth over mine adversaries, my spirit has rejoiced mightily in chanting. There is none holy as our most holy God, and there is none righteous but thee, O Lord Most High. O Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. Thou as a destroyer of the demons, ruinous tyranny, O most sacred Parthenius, and didst overturn the temples of the idols, raising up churches to the praise of Christ, O all blessed Father. Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. Illustrious with magnificent wonder working, O Father Parthenius, thou dost end the cruel misery of cancer, thou openest blinded eyes, and dost put to flight spirits of wickedness by divine grace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When he he who had formerly ministered in divine service was most wickedly put to death. Thou needst raise him up again, O blessed Parthenius. For God, who has abolished death, gave thee grace to raise the dead by prayer. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord, having clad himself in flesh from thee, inexpressibly held converse with men. Beseech him, therefore, O old lady Theotokos, to take pity on me, who am shaken and subdued by the attacks of the serpent. O great miracle worker of Lampsacus, having mounted aloft to the virtue's height, thou flashest forth lightning like on the world with the light of cures, driving off the dark demons in terror and disarray, while dispersing diseases with gracious appeals to God. Purging all the error and deceit of the idols, from all of the hellish pond thou hast shone forth with miracles, O God bearing Parthenius, intercede with Christ our God that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O word before all time, thou wast born of a mother. By nature past our care, thou wast brought to the temple, where on the joyous elder received thee into his arms and cried to thee, Thou lettest me depart now, to whom thou camest, according to thy word. Thou who in truth hast been well pleased as God to save the race of mankind. Neither an angel nor yet an ambassador, O my Lord, but thyself incarnate camest from the Virgin and Holy Maid. Rescuing me, the whole man, wherefore I cry to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord my God. O Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. O Father Parthenius, thou didst grant the dyers to do their work when, by thy most sacred prayers to the friend of man, thou didst scare away the demon that hindered them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord, receiving thy supplications, abundantly granted a draught of fishes to those in need, O Father. And in the miracle of the fish that swam up, he magnified thee. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Heal the wounds of my soul, O Virgin. Make peaceful my mind, which is troubled by passions and darkened by transgressions of the Saviour's commandments. Thou art the light of them that lie in darkness, and the salvation of all that is bearing on Christ my Saviour. O King of peace, to thee do I rise up early. With thy radiance do thou enlighten me, for save thee I do not acknowledge another God. 
O Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. O Godly minded Father Parthenius, the brightly beaming grace of this passion dwelling in thy heart chases away from the prelate the deepest darkness of avarice and preserves him from this malady by thy counsel. Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. By thy prayer thou mayst perfectly hold a man held by a severe disease and half witted. O righteous Father, and he thankfully glorified the Master and God, who glorified thee with many miracles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God, with hallowed priestly unction, O Father, thou madest the priesthood to shine with the display of many miracles, which thou hast performed both in life and after death, O God-bearing Father Parthenius, living like an angel. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I beseech thee, O maiden, by thy supplication to the friend of man, rescue me from the darkening of the passions, from stumbling blocks set before me by the ill will of the alien, and from the eternal torments to come. To the master from the monster Jonas cried, lead me up from the depths of Hades, I pray that with a voice of praise and in the spirit of truth I may offer sacrifice to thee as my deliverer. O holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for the us. the force of thy words of prayer, O Parthenius, the idol's temples break asunder by divine grace, and a faithless people accepted faith while magnifying the Lord with one accord. Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. Compassionately showing pity to a people in jeopardy, O Parthenius, hierarch of the Lord, thou didst entreat the man befriending word with tears, and brought down rains from on high for them that are. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Every heart that came to thee didst thou flood with the showers of thy mystical waters, O Parthenius, and the land, parched with drought, received rain, and wondrously brought forth much fruit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Make me not to stand condemned in the day of judgment. Expose me not before all, senseless as I am, O my God, my Maker, since thou hast the lady that seedlessly gave thee birth, now entreating thee. Since thou hadst received God's grace to work ineffable marvels, godly wise Parthenius, the sacred worker of wonders, thou didst wholly cleanse the faithful of all their passions, casting wicked spirits out, O God-bearing Father. For this cause we sing thy praise as a great initiate of the divine grace of God. O noetic light of light, word of God and Son of the Father, which is from before all eternity, Thou who divinely illuminatest the whole inhabited world, enlighten my heart and mind and thought today to sing the praises of this bright, most solemn, most august festival of the righteous Parthenius. For he verily led a marvelous life and conversation upon the earth. For this cause, as we gather, we extol him as the great initiate of the divine grace of God. A great initiate of the divine grace of God. The transgressing tyrant's command that was set against God fanned yet higher the flame of the fire. But Christ spread the dew of the Spirit over the God-fearing children, for he is blessed and supremely glorious. O Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. Divine grace which came to dwell in thee, reveal thee to be a prophet, declaring things to come. Wherefore, O wise Parthenius, thou foretold of the prelate adorned with divine splendor, 
that was to succeed thee. Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. We all sing the praise of Parthenius, the prelate of Lamsacus, that unwading lamp which made the whole earth bright with miracles and drove off the night of exceedingly painful suffering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. At thine entreaty the earth gave forth an abundance of its great and all marvellous Parthenius, and the withered vineyard brought forth clusters of grapes. Thus did God glorify thee, who himself was glorified in thy way of love. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holier than the hosts on high art thou, O blameless virgin, for thou hast given a body to God, whom the bodiless orders glorify with fear. Ever entreat him, therefore, to take pity on them that glorify thee. The fiery furnace in Babylon once divided its operation by divine command, burning up the Chaldeans, but be doing the faithful who chanted, All ye works bless ye the Lord. O Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. Very great recompenses in the highest have succeeded thy labours, O very great Parthenius, for thou dwells in unwaning light and hast received perpetual glory, O Father, being deemed worthy of everlasting joy. Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. Having become an unwaning star in thy lifetime through the dawnings of thy divine deeds, thou didst set according to the law of nature, O righteous one, and didst pass over to dwell in splendor that has no evening, leaving us the rays of thine ineffable miracle. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. The Father who is without beginning, the Son and the Divine Spirit are recognized as a brightness of one kingdom and throne by them that worship in orthodox manner and with the orders of angels ever sing Holy, Holy, Holy. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By thy mediation, O pure one, cleanse me from the defilement of passions that has befallen me and illumine my heart which is darkened by the obscuring of the demons, I pray, so that I may bless thee, O divine Divinely blessed Virgin. Our God and Lord, the Son of the Father, which is without beginning, has appeared to us incarnate of a virgin, to enlighten those in darkness and to gather the dispersed. Wherefore we magnify thee, O him, Theotokos. O Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. Thou is released from the body, thou is deemed worthy to behold the unseen beauties, O Father Parthenius, since in truth thou is entirely adorned with the comeliness of virtue. Wherefore we honor thee and sincerely call thee blessed. Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. Like a lily, like a rose, like a fragrant bunch of flowers, beautiful with many colored virtues, as Christ manifestly made thee to dwell in the folds on high, O Father Parthenius, who has shepherded his people in righteousness. Holy Father Parthenius, pray to God for us. Let us leap for joy, O man, let us dance it in gladness now and convoke a holy festival, chanting to God with hymns of praise and blessing today as his due Parthenius, the great and wondrous shepherd. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Thy memorial has shone today like a great sun, brightly illuminating our hearts as we celebrate it with faith, O Hierarch. Rescue us from the darkness of passions, from diseases and tribulations and every adversity. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Illumine me with light who lie in the darkness of thy slothfulness and never purpose to keep the laws of God at all. O Lady, graced of God, so that as is meet I may bless thee as my protectress. The mighty shepherd, great of fame, who wisely tended Lampsacus, the wonder-worker and hierarch of the august church of Christ God, the pride and boast of Hellespont, the strong support of faithful men. Let us revere Parthenius, 
us, who maketh God to be gracious unto the wants of the whole world. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May he who deigned to be carried on the arms of righteous Simeon for our salvation, Christ our true God, at the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross of the Lord and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes, the great Brandon, the navigator, Oren of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of our Father among the saints, Parthenius, Bishop of Lamsacus, with the prayers of our righteous Father, Luke of Mount Styrian, with the prayers of the holy 1,003 martyrs beheaded in Nicomedia, with the prayers of St. Ronan, St. Richard of Wessex, St. Meldon, St. Tresson, and St. All of London, and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.